Hello everyone. So today's topic is text information management system. It is also known as TIMS. So here in this lesson, we are going to learn about the importance and the benefits of TIMS in preclinical development. So here we are going to see two important scenarios, so which will be explaining about the TIMS, uh, the importance of TIMS over manually controlled system. In manually controlled system, the scientist would prepare his reports by tape by taking um, sorry by typing the text and often through multiple cut and paste procedures to include pictures or images then the scientist would make a draft report so that draft report will be sent to the manager for the review purpose and manager will make necessary corrections in that and uh, he would send back to the uh, he would send the document back to the scientist and scientists will make a new document or new report for the final approval of quality assurance auditor and the quality assurance auditor will be finally filing the copy so this is the whole process so we'll take about two to three days time so it is a time consuming process on the other hand the teams so if it is in, uh, implemented then here the process will be very simplified here also the scientist will be preparing uh, own documents by using various uh, report templates and uh, here this draft report will be sent to the manager through electronic link and uh, the manager will click on electronic link and he will review the document and he will make necessary corrections by using a tracking change functionality so this functionality will be useful for tracking the persons who is doing the corrections and the final document will be going to uh, quality assurance auditor so he will be filing the copy so here it takes very less time comparatively uh, than uh, manually controlled system and it is more efficient and more accurate system In the second scenario here the analyst so who is preparing the test procedures who is performing the test procedures will take the hard copies from the central location manually and uh, he will uh, perform test procedures and then after completion of the test procedures he will return all the controlled copies on the other hand in teams uh, the analyst will uh, doc uh, will download all the documents from the secure database so which is available in teams and he will perform necessary test uh, procedures after the tests are completed, those documents which are already downloaded must be destroyed or discarded for the protection of intellectual property rights. Here in this slide, so we are going to learn about the importance of TIM in uh, controlling of uh, various documents which are available uh, during the time of preclinical studies. So this is the preclinical studies, which is which is one of the important uh, segment in the drug development. So in drug development, uh, so many uh, stages are present. So first one is basic stage. Here the research will be started. After that, preclinical studies. Here the animal studies will be conducted. Here next one is clinical studies. It has phase one, two, three, and four studies. And uh, on in this clinical testings, so here. Uh, uh, humans are the main uh, samples here these te testings will be conducted on humans and then after completion of clinical trials then the mark then the drug will be marketed and here in the preclinical development here the laboratory and animal testing procedures will be conducted uh, so here it includes toxicological studies pharmacokinetic studies and um, so it, it it will be conducted around one to three years time and more than 250 compounds will be tested here on various uh, animals so here so huge number of uh, text documents images and drawings and photographs will be generated in this preclinical studies so the controlling of text document is very difficult so here the team is playing a crucial role for controlling all the documents and for protecting all the documents which are generated from the preclinical studies. And here, after completion of preclinical studies, then clinical studies will be started, so which we will be conducting on humans. And here we have two important applications, IND. So this IND is in, in investigation of new drug application, which will be 
which will be having the information about the preclinical studies and fda will review these two documents and finally the fda will be giving the approval for the manufacturer to release the drug into the market and here in preclinical studies we need to maintain two important uh, documents product specific documents and the second one is analytical test methods so these two documents are very much important based on these documents here drug substances and products must be test for the cl clinical trials and the next one is a standard operating procedure here the controlling of standard operating procedure is also uh, uh, an important uh, function for the teams here a standard operating procedure templates are available and so these standard operating procedures which are uh, uh, which are made which are set by organization to carry out the complex protein operations so this is the sample sop of a ph meter and uh, in the teams so there is there are six functionalities the first one is free templates here free templates are available to prepare um, sample to prepare sops and the second one is sharing a permissions here after preparing the um, SOPs, then we can share it to the consent department by using this functionality and third functionality here is document control and workflow process so here this is the main functionality here it is used to produce track edit store and manage the sop documents so here the edit procedure of uh, sop will be uh, carried out here at this functionality and the fourth functionality here is centralized processes and procedures so here the, this is this functionality is the key document functionality key uh, documents will be stored here and uh, which will be uh, we are showing to the regulatory authorities for the auditing purpose so key important uh, sops will be storing here at this functionality and the fifth one is sop writing and manuals and many sops and uh, manuals are available in this functionality and the sixth one is dashboard and this dashboard functionality is accessible for only authorized persons and it is mainly used to track key data points uh, and uh, about uh, the current performance of the um, of the process so this is about uh, the controlling of uh, standard operating procedure so by using teams and the next one is a research reports so which will which will be also controlled by teams here this is the flow chart for the research uh, process the research will be starting from the motivation and related work then uh, based on this uh, related work here literature will be surveyed which literature will be analyzed by the research scientist and they are formulating a research question so based on the that question so research scientists will be conducting surveys and uh, and so here after uh, completion of these survey the results will be uh, presented and these results will be analyzed qualitatively as well as quantitatively and finally so these results will be interpreted by using graphs and data charts etc and finally uh, research scientists will be drawing the conclusions and they're making some important recommendations so here it has the research research has three important uh, uh, steps the first important step is data collection in the data collection here the data will be conducted uh, for the data will be conducted in the form of conducting surveys and the data will be organized and recorded and the next step is data analysis here the data will be analyzed based on the variables so based on the variables here quantitatively and qualitatively the data will be analyzed the third one is results and interpretations here the interpretations will be useful for interpreting the variables and uh, by using graphs and data charts the so finally uh, it, it will be concluded the um, the process will be concluded and the research will be completed at this point so here so we need to maintain a few important uh, documents in this teams the teams is controlling the documents of stability reports and method validation reports and these reports are very much important for uh, some important regulatory 
uh, filings like uh, NDA filings, MAA filings. So these uh, reports are very much important in preclinical pre developments. And here the TIMS is regulating all the uh, all the documents and documented and uh, it is giving adequate protection to that document and it gives the easy access to that documents for all the uh, all the stakeholders who are involved in this process and the next one is a laboratory notebook so here this laboratory notebook is very much important to record the experimental procedures and observations and raw data so which is which is available from the preclinical -pre studies and it is also useful for uh, submission of uh, this raw data to the regulatory agencies for the approval process and also useful for inspection by authorities uh, for pre-approval processes so these laboratory uh, required things will be also controlled by teams so these are the current teams products so teams products will be available will be provided by many vendors so documentum filenet stellent uh, vignet so many uh, vendors will be available for uh, uh, providing the doc providing the teams products and so these are the urls of uh, those vendors and many products like uh, low tire products so which will be giving a basic idea about the teams for example documentum file net and interwoven so which will be giving the basic idea about the uh, text information management systems so these are called low tire products so documentum file net interwoven will be giving the low tire products and uh, fat fire ibm so media surface so these vendors will be providing high tire products and uh, some companies will be providing uh, less cost products for example uh, red dot solutions paper thin so these uh, vendors will be providing uh, to the customer uh, less cost products so this is about the current teams products that are available in the market right right now and the summary part here uh, teams is very much important uh, system and uh, which is uh, which is a secured database and here this database is having a data so which will be collected and it is properly managed and processed and so this data is very much useful for uh, uh, for report generation review approvals filings and retrieval courses so it will be very useful in preclinical development also and the preclinical development here, these are the three important documents, SOPs and research reports and laboratory notes. And these all documents are controlled by the teams. So it is very essential uh, to maintain the, uh, to maintain the uh, uh, security and uh, accessibility, so which will be provided by teams. And these are the important base uh, benefits which are provided by teams that is a secure database and every every person has to log in into the teams then only he can perform all the functionalities all the works and uh, it is a time saving tool as we have seen that uh, in scenario one and two so the process will, will be very simplified and it is highly accurate and easily report generation process so that's why nowadays most of the pharmacy companies are uh, uh, implementing the teams process for increasing the efficiency uh, for approving or auditing purposes so this is about uh, teams thank you